everyone, welcome back. I'm excited to take you along with me as I move about our homestead. If you're new here, definitely hit that subscribe button. It greatly helps my channel. I plan on taking you on a journey showing our life as we move through different seasons on our homestead. Today we're going to be making two sweet treats, a batch of granola and some Rice Krispie treats. I'm going to make some granola. First thing we're going to need is four cups of old fashioned rolled oats. So I'm going to do a little bit of both. You really can't go wrong with granola. They just honestly, you just mix in anything that you like. I mean, nuts or seeds or. I'm adding in some walnuts, and then I'm going to add in a little bit of pumpkin seeds. I'm going to put in some sunflower seeds. I'm going to chop them up a little bit smaller than they are. They're a little smaller than halved right now, but I think I'd like to chop them up so that they're a little they're in chunks. So I usually just take the end of a knife, I take my bag of nuts, and just hit the end of the knife on the nuts to chop them up just so that they're a little bit smaller. One and a half cups of raw nuts or seeds, so I just did sort of a mishmash of both or of all three pumpkin seeds, sesame seeds, and then sunflower kernels. I always put in a little bit of cinnamon. I'll do a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. some coconut oil and melt it in the microwave. So I need a half a cup of coconut oil. So I'm going to just take a, a bowl and then scoop out a half a cup quarter cup measure here, so I'll do two of these. I'm just going to melt that in the microwave. with either maple syrup or honey and I usually like to make it with honey because it just gets a little bit more crisp but I have made it with maple syrup quite a bit too. So you take um, a half a cup of the honey and a little trick to getting the honey out of your your measuring scoop is to put your oil in first measure your oil out first and then the honey won't stick in there. It'll come right out usually. Put a 
teaspoon of vanilla extract. put in some coconut as well. So I'm going to mix it up first. So that's a good mix. sweeter flavor too, so this doesn't have the vegetable type of taste like a vegetable oil or an olive oil might have, so. After it's pretty much mixed, I add the coconut, and again, I just, I don't really measure, but I have maybe a quarter, quarter of a cup left in this bag, so I'm just going to add that in. paper here so that the granola will not stick to it so it's easier to clean up that way and pour the granola onto this is a half sheet cranberries or raisins or anything, you don't do that until after it comes out of the oven. <clears throat> so I've got an oven preheated to 350 degrees. Bake it until it's golden brown, about 21 to 24 minutes or so, around 20 minutes or so. Uh, I'm going to be stirring it halfway because so that I want to make sure that um, if it for, if you want extra clumpy granola, you just stir a little bit less often so that it will just bake sort of in chunks. I just set the timer for 22 minutes. I'm going to check it in. I'll set the bottom timer for 10 minutes so that I can stir it in 10 minutes time. You are going to spread it out and let it cool completely. You don't want to disturb the granola too much during the cooling time. So usually you just leave it alone for about 45 minutes and then it's going to get hard and crispy so that you'll have those chunks. Um, and then that's when you add your dried fruit. Okay, I'll do up some dishes. Always good to wash up as you go.
going to make some Rice Krispie Treats. It takes one bag of marshmallows and three tablespoons of butter. Melt it in the microwave. Spray your pan really good. Just melt this in the microwave and then five and a half cups of five and a half cups of rice crispy. all mixed together well as so all spill some rice crispies on the bottom. Kind of get them mixed in. And once it's mixed in, I spray my hands with some cooking spray because the easiest way to do this, I 
press it into the pans with your hands. I cover these tightly with the saran wrap so that they don't dry out. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here or brand new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I hope to make a new video each week on homemaking, scratch cooking, and recipes featuring maple as a sweetener. Thanks for stopping by our homestead.